system where students across in Gaza, across in Palestine, have no education system, have no future uphold of, of them. And who are complicit in these? It's our own universities, our own vice chancellors, our own senior management team. So not only this is the University of Manchester's academic summit, but it's all around the world, of all around different universities. So we have speakers from different universities speaking for today. So I'd like to welcome a speaker from the University of Leeds to give us a speech. Give them a round of applause. Hello. There are no universities left in Gaza. In the UK, during Freshers' Week, universities would have told students a lot about their diversity, their commitment to student opinions, to their commitment to safety, and all that bullshit. On this day of action, we're here mobilizing with students from Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, Sheffield, London, Leicester, Warwick, Nottingham, Newcastle, Oxford, Cambridge, Cardiff, Lancaster, Sussex, to unmask what these pathetic universities do behind the scenes. What these universities, they always forget to include is that they're not a place of democratic institution, of democratic education, sorry. They're corporate academies putting profit over black, brown, and indigenous life. They're a place that commodify indigenous knowledge and colonize lands on a daily basis and turns it into jargon, dehumanizing people, stripping away their suffering and strength in their resistance. These universities turn words like diversity, democracy, freedom of speech, sustainability into meaningless bureaucratic words for PR campaigns. Shame. Fuck their self-appointed allyship and sustainable indicators while they remain complicit in financially supporting genocide. These institutions use our thousands of pounds in fees to create a curriculum that is not ours while they silently fund genocide in Palestine. What does the university pr promise its students? State-of-the-art facilities, great infrastructure, career progression, fancy VR sets, a great prestigious little uh, 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 prestigious education on your resume. And then fuck their Gen Z marketing campaigns and manufacture propaganda. We can't be bought. We know where these facilities and student infrastructure come from. It's a product made of the backs of colonized nations. It's stained by the blood of the Palestinians. The reality is they're scared of progressive-minded students like us, openly questioning universities, pushing them to cut their ties with the settler state of Israel. They're horrified by our collective informed resistance. Just look around our campuses. They're filled with pawns of these institutions, trying to intimidate us, only there to protect fancy Victorian buildings and business as usual. What does it even mean to have a decolonial panel or endless curriculum redefined workshops when they refuse to make actual transformative changes to the university? <laughs> they'll pick a few individual people at the end of the year and they'll give them a sum of awards and show how progressive they are. But that's, that's all bullshit. Because what does it mean to be for freedom of speech when they'll draw a line as soon as we exercise our right of students. They'll draw a line as soon as we refuse to be comfortable in an institution that profits off exploitation, apartheid and genocide. They'll draw a line as soon as you rock the boat towards real change. What does it mean to say they want a peaceful protest when they actively support a system that weaponizes peace to incriminate, incarcerate and kill people under occupation? They support a system that deems violence of the oppressor as acceptable and demonize the violence of the oppressed. University denies us a shared political voice and the right to mobilize and support the student and non-student community. They'll mask their Islamophobia, their racism, the classism under layers of bullshit risk assessments and respectability politics. And of course, by slapping the word peaceful here and there as if it gives them a moral high ground. Don't ever get fooled by their spineless statement of, oh, we're politically neutral space which will excuse them of having any principles and institution. Pretenses is a fucking dangerous thing. Because alienating black, brown and Muslim students is a political decision. Not using their resources to help unhoused people everywhere and profiting off of gentrification is a political decision. Putting profit over non-white life is political spending. 
There's politics in everything that they fucking do. And it doesn't end when the rally ends. Our political power and duty to get informed and demand changes isn't a one-time thing. It won't end when this, when this rally ends. Our protesting doesn't end when this one ends. Students around the UK organize for a free Palestine. And what this means on a fundamental concrete level is that we listen to the resistance and we reject normalization. These universities will make you write essays on a linear scale about social injustices. You will intellectualize oppression to the point of dehumanizing people. And of course, you will use white saviorism to recommend anti-liberal policies on the global south about how to be more sustainable. Engineering is also very fucking political because they will make you believe any problem has a technical solution. To have complete disregard of the unintended consequences of your fancy robots and the unnecessary highly efficient lifting power devices. You will use Apple's design manual and other arms companies' ethical engineering guidelines as gold standard while you discard the ethical mission for someone else to figure out. I want to end with a little message to university managements all around the UK. Your indifference and discomfort is obvious when you only acknowledge buzzword content that is pretty, apolitical, easy to culturally appropriate, peaceful or eco-modern, but you will look away as soon as the issue is angry, as soon as the issue is violent, as soon as the issue criticizes you, or as soon as the issue is grave stricken. Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! Thank you. Thank you for that amazing speech.